Hey guys, so I'm coming in to do my, basically my Sunday update, but yesterday when I made the video, I was so groggy and tired, and not, I don't know, I was just not in my mind. So I'm making it today to make up for Sunday. Um, basically, I finished my Ramp It Up DVD today, I moved on to the second phase, I started today, and it was tough for me. Just like the start of the video was tough on the first day, but the second day I was able to push through it with no problems. I mean, we took one break that day. And Sunday, I was in so much pain. My, my legs were buckling at work. Like, I couldn't keep myself up. So I decided Sunday I needed to listen to my body and take a rest. So Sunday, I did not work out. And you can tell in the video I made, like, I was just so groggy and tired. And I was just, ugh, all I did, I went to bed early. I went to bed at probably before 11, and I got some good sleep. So I'm a lot more refreshed, and I worked out this morning, and I have tons of energy right now, if you can't tell. And it, it was just awesome. Um... So yeah, that's what I've been doing for working out. I've been sticking to it. It's just like I said, Sunday I decided it's going to be my rest days since Sundays are my updating days. Um, for eating habits, uh, eating habit wise, I've been really, really good. It's just Sunday, when the day I didn't work out, I, I ate more than I normally would have. Um, I had, the bad things I had were frozen yogurt. Well, frozen yogurt really isn't that bad for you, but I did have frozen yogurt from this place called Yogurt. I love that place. Um, I had some frozen yogurt there that my friend bought me. It was kind of like my belated birthday treat. And then I had, because I had a meet, we had like a work meeting at Victoria's Secret in the morning. So I really didn't get to eat that much. And then I went to Target and I got like the little Velveeta Easy Mac type of thing. And I had that on my 15 minute break. And then I got um, shrimp roumelade sandwich from Kosi and I only ate half of it. So I didn't feel too bad about that. And I got it on home grade brand. And it's shrimp, lettuce, tomato, some sauce. I did get provolone cheese, but I got a white cheese, not cheddar. So that makes it even better too. And then I came home. I really wasn't hungry because I had the frozen yogurt and I had my half of my sandwich already that I ate. I really wasn't that hungry. But then later I had some fish, Brussels sprouts, and butternut squash that my mom made. So, I mean, I the only things bad that I ate were probably the macaroni cheese and the yogurt. So eating healthy, I'm still doing pretty well. Sunday I just had a little bit more than I normally would. But I don't think that's wrong. It's okay to spoil yourself every now and then. Um, so yeah. <sighs> okay, on to the next one. The next topic. Um, oh, oh. So when I did my DVD working out today, I, my butt was just kicked, man. It was kicked. I think every time I'm going to start the new phase, that first day of me starting the new workout routine, I'm going to drag. I took more breaks than I did like on my second day of working out because it was a new routine and it was a lot tougher and I was like, whoa. But other than that, I pushed through it. But then there was a part where she started using resistance bands and I don't have resistance bands. So I, I have to go get resistance bands, hopefully today. Yes, I have to get them today. So I can get through the whole entire workout because it's basically strength training in your arms and things like that. And let me say when we got to the floor work, doing the butt workouts, oh my gosh, my butt was just not in shape to be doing that. It was in so much pain, so much pain, so much pain. But I pushed through as much as I could. And you got to remember, guys, to just keep pacing yourself. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. Um, yeah. So... Now I'm going to come in and, and share the healthy recipe that, well, the healthy dessert recipe that I made um, a couple days ago for myself because I was craving something sweet and I was like, what do I have that's healthy that I can combine together and it'll be under at least 300 calories. It was under 300 calories for sure. I want to say it was under 200 calories, but I can't remember off the top of my head. What I did was I took low fat plain, no, not plain, I took low fat vanilla yogurt. It's by Light and Fit and the, I think it's a pint size. And I took six tablespoons of that, um, and then I took four strawberries. And we have this little doohickey that like slices up, like you put the fruit in and you slice it up. It slices up like fruits and veggies for you. It cuts it up for you or something like that. So, anyways, I sliced up four strawberries, and my mom had these pep um, lemon shortbread cookies from Pepperidge Farm, and like a serving for them was four, and that was like 160 calories. So I took two, so that's like 80 calories. So I took two of those and I st stuck them in my bowl of yogurt and I was able to have strawberry, lemon, vanilla, 
yogurt parfait crunchy yummy goodness dessert thing that I made so that was all the recipe was guys it's not not nothing too hard nothing too serious at least under 200 calories for sure because the yogurt uh, one cup of that yogurt is 100 calories either 100 or 110 calories two cookies 80 uh, and then some strawberries like it was about 200 maybe 220 calories like I said awesome light fit and healthy and refreshing is very refreshing so try that out get some light it's okay to have like light and low fat type cookies around the house that you can mix in with yogurt and fruit and have like a dessert um, I'm gonna give another tip about if you're having a sweet tooth dark chocolate guys is the way to go because dark chocolate is full of antioxidants and if you don't like dark chocolate learn to like it <laughs> I'm just kidding um, it's just the healthier of the chocolates compared to um, milk chocolate which has milk in it. it's been processed more when you think about it, dark chocolate is as close to the cocoa nut as it can possibly be because it's less it goes through less processing it's fuller in antioxidants because it's closer to the original plant the plant itself is probably very very healthy but once we get it and we do what we do to it it's not as healthy but dark chocolate that's why a lot of people like it is because it's as close to the cocoa plant as possible um it's richer it's yummy some people say it's bitter but I love it I love dark chocolate so another nice healthy little recipe you could do is maybe get some dark chocolate chips from the grocery store if you go to a health food store it's probably even better um, and get like some organic dark chocolate chips maybe take like a handful melt melt them in a tiny little container like we have those little glad um, cups for storing things in you can probably get those put like a handful in there melt that up Take your favorite fruits and just have dark chocolate and fruit. Like, it gets rid of your chocolate craving and it's sweet because it's sweet and your fruits are sweet. So you can do strawberries and dark chocolate. I love blackberries and strawberries right now. So blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. And just have, like, like your own little tiny, little small amount of kind of fondue dipping session there. Why not? And it's healthy, it's light, it's under probably 200, of course it's under 200 calories, you know, just things like that. Um, also, if you're looking for more healthy recipe, like healthy dessert recipes, um, try shapemagazine.com. Go to shape.com and look up their um, healthy dessert recipes. They have some good ones on there too that I want to try out. And if I try them out, I will definitely tell you guys and do and like go through the recipe in depth. Um, but that's not going to be probably until I move into my apartment when I have my own kitchen and I can do my own things. But um, that's it, guys. That's kind of my Sunday update. Um, every Sunday I'll be updating. Sunday was officially the start of week one of the full working out program and everything. I mean, technically I started Wednesday, but that was the start of week one updates. So, yay! And I will just be continuing to do my Slim and Six DVD. I'm on Ramp It Up instead of, I only did Start It Up for two days and I moved on to Ramp It Up and today was my first day of completing Ramp It Up and I'm going to be doing that for the next, well let's see, five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, six days. So I'm doing it six days a week and then Sundays are going to be my rest days. Um, still continuing to eat healthy, drinking lots of water, basically my diet is high in proteins, low in sugars and fats and carbs, but if I am getting carbs, of course it has to be whole grain, whole grain, whole grain, whole grain, lean proteins. I'm not eating turkey. I'm not eating chicken. I'm not eating beef. Only thing I'm eating is fish, honestly. And getting my proteins from beans, like black beans, definitely. Um, I had some peanut butter. Oh yeah, my pre-workout meal was two pieces of whole grain toast, toasted, with some peanut butter and fresh cut strawberries on top. That was it. And that's giving me enough fuel right now because I am I guess hyper I'm really energetic right now and I ate it before I worked out so when I worked out you know I'm using the carbs to burn and push myself through my workout and the workout was about an hour long so that's just because I I was failing and I took so long but um yeah I'm sorry guys my nose is really itching right now but that's it um I feel good my skin to me it looks amazing it feels amazing my hair is soft feeling I don't know why but I feel like when I work out my hair gets really soft um, I feel strong. Can you see that? Yeah. I feel strong and I feel good. After I work out, I just feel amazing. 
Um, so the next video is going to be talking about staying motivated and how I keep myself motivated. So check that out, guys. I'm going to make that right after this. So stay tuned, and you guys have a great Monday, and keep pushing through. Keep pushing through, guys. We can do this. Thanks, guys. Bye.